Thanks for joining us this week again. Our topic this week will focus on drawbacks and ethical issues in extended reality. With me again is Mr. Jacob Bates and I am Rohan Jawala. Please feel free to like, share or subscribe to this channel. At this point, I will pass it over to Jacob to begin our presentation on ethical issues and drawbacks for consideration when using extended reality. Over to you, Jacob. Thanks, Rohan. You know, with all the amazing things you can do with VR, there are some major drawbacks. As we talked about in the last video, you have headaches and motion sickness that some users experience. So headaches are generally caused by focusing distance issues. These can be because the user requires the use of glasses or maybe one eye has different focus than the other, uh, things like that. So there are some headsets that allow the user to wear their glasses underneath them. Uh, and then there is research being done on making adaptive headsets that allow the, uh, the, the headset to adjust to the user's eyesight. Um, and then motion sickness is generally caused by a disconnect between what the eyes are seeing as far as motion and what the body is feeling. Um, the, uh, there's really not a whole lot to get around this. If someone suffers from motion sickness, that's kind of just how it is. Um, there are medications for that, but technically what we can do is uh, use higher uh, refresh rate screens and uh, make sure that the motion tracking is as accurate as possible. There's also another major drawback with VR, and that is for people with uh, disabilities. So users with mobility issues, if you require them to walk around a scene, they're not going to be able to do that. Uh, they might, if somebody has dexterity issues, they're not going to be able to use a controller to, uh, to interact with objects in the scene. Um, so, uh, you, so take that into consideration uh, with your scenarios. Another major accessibility issue is for uh, people who are blind. They literally can't see what is going on in this VR world and the major component of virtual reality, the major thing that tricks your brain into thinking you're there is the visual component. Uh, so you might still have the audio part of it but it, you need to either come up with an alternative uh, experience for them or maybe descriptive audio or it's, it's just it's really something to consider. So I'll, I'll send it right back over to you, Rohan. Thanks, Jacob. I will now highlight a few of the ethical issues that extended reality will need to consider for the future. Let us now explore some of these ethical issues. Number one, data protection issues. It is important that consideration is given to data protection issues, for example. How will the data be used, shared, or distributed within the virtual world. Another key point for data protection is who will secure the data? Point two, the issue of rating age-appropriate content and pornography materials are another point of concern. This needs to be addressed. Number three, harassment. Today we face new forms of harassment and racism. While the virtual reality continuum offers opportunities for engagement. They are individuals who see this modality as a pathway to reproduce hate towards other groups. Number four, the digital divide. Currently, the cost of VR equipment is expensive. A baseline headset for a quality interaction will begin at $200. It is important that all students have access to the technology to ensure they are not left behind. Number five, moral issues. Researchers have stated that at times making a moral decision, which includes life or death in a virtual world, can place someone under stress to the point that they will experience PTSD. Real world experience, that's point six. While extended reality research continues, it is important to know or note that some researchers have already suggested that there can be prolonged effect of having been in a virtual world for extended periods of time. While there are other ethical issues that could be explored and highlighted, I will stop here. We would like to recommend the following. Revisions of current IT policies and current data protection laws. 
the development and design of systems to report incidents of harassment and inappropriate content, the development of a national rating system for extended reality content, enhanced funding, greater emphasis on research to evaluate effects of extended reality on behavior and psychological development, and the development of a universal or national code of practice for the use of extended reality. These are just a few recommendations. Let me say thanks for joining us and we look forward to sharing with you next week. Please subscribe, like or share this presentation.